Hi there, I'm Cookie of Goddesses Media, and welcome to Casa de la Adenia, the esports bed and breakfast that's catered to networking professionals and people that are in the healthcare industry. Come on inside, and I'm going to give you a tour. So once you come in, you'll be greeted with my living room here. This is the open plan concept for individuals that are staying on vacation. If you're out of town within the network and are looking for a place to stay, look no further. Casa La Adenia is the place for you because you won't have to pay a dime to stay here. The only thing that we're asking is that you have a service that you can trade and barter with us to stay within the network to actually grow and share services amongst one another. Coming on through into the kitchen, this will be where most of the meals will be cooked, family style meals, networking meetings, concepts and blueprints between working professionals and ideas amongst those that are trying to raise capital for their own ideas and their own business ventures. Could you see yourself here? Think about it. This is a heated garage that's going to be converted into a massive library with bookshelves off to one side and then arcade machines that run along the back wall all along this side of the wall. The theme of this property is to cater to the esports industry and individual professionals alike that are looking to understand and respect the preservation of video gaming memorabilia, history, comic books, manga, sci-fi in the world of geekism. We're gonna head upstairs now because one of the three rooms have been converted into a classic video gaming museum with classic consoles, streaming setup. And this is where, where I'm not streaming, I'm also playing my video games. So, with the game room, you're first greeted by characters from the martial arts gaming community, we like to call it fighting game community, but it sounds better if you say martial arts gaming community. So we got a picture of Morgan Ienzelin from Darkstalkers, Rachel Alucard from Blaze Blue. I put a little bit of Japanese anime in here of Shoujo Kakume Utena, Revolutionary Girl Utena, classic manga and 90s anime, shoujo anime of the 90s. With a bit of Black Lagoon, aim for the top two, some classic Killer Instinct, card capture secured to the far left bottom. And the door is still working order because the more stickers I get, I'm gonna start contributing. And then when I start getting people to stay over, they can start contributing their own stickers and add to the game room door. So in the library of games, you're greeted with just a little bit of manga. My manga library is not large because we're focusing more on video gaming memorabilia so we have everything in the Street Fighter continuity of Capcom. We have martial arts gaming strategy guides, and of course, more books um, from the world of SNK Capcom and more books to follow as I'm still developing this space. And when we turn this way, you get to see some of the classic machines that I'm working from. When I am streaming, I have a dedicated Windows 98 machine by Sony, a dedicated Windows XP and then a Dreamcast, a Wii. I've never had a figurine collection before. Started doing something like that recently and kind of just added there to add more flavor to the room. I think my favorite aspect of this room so far was getting a signed and autographed um, picture of Talisa Soto as Katana from the original Mortal Kombat 1995 movie. But this is one room that people that stay over that sleepover that network here at Casa de la Adenia will be able to have access to 24 seven while they're here. So if you can imagine coming out to this sizable backyard, this is where we could have networking gatherings, parties. I got lucky that the tree behind me is actually a pomegranate tree and um, it comes in bloom once a year. Right now we're in the winter time, so there's no pomegranates on that tree to showcase. And this will conclude the tour of Casa de la Adenia. So why $32,000? So $32,000 is solely going towards the updating of the infrastructure of this location. This property has not been updated since 2003. And so here we are in 2024, which has been well over 15 years. 
I'm trying to make sure that there is proper lighting, there are repairs to the roof, there is updated plumbing, there are new locks and security systems to this location, and I'm also updating furniture as well as the atmosphere. The $32,000 allows everything that will bring this location and property up to business standards so that when I launch it on the market and I launch the services, it will be there for all to enjoy within the network. Of course, we're functioning from an in-networking referral service, so if you are referred to me, that is part of the screening process. And within that screening process, you would have to be offering to trade or barter a skill that will be added to Goddesses Media Resource Book for later usages down the road when we are cross-pollinating with other business professionals. And we look forward to seeing you here at Casa de la Denia soon when you're on your next vacation or your next day here in Las Vegas. Here you will enjoy the wonderful museum, the gaming, the entertainment, and a plethora of resources that should help you and your next project for whatever it is that you are endeavoring in. Thank you so much.